Hi, Mrs. Pappenberg here with, with uh, Nathan, my son. We're going to do another science experiment for you that you can do at home. So the first thing you need is a Ziploc bag, and today we're going to make an exploding snowman. So I'm going to take a marker, and I'm going to draw on my Ziploc bag a snowman. So Mason, what are some things that a snowman has? Um, some, 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 some. She really likes Olaf. I'm not that good. So I just did three parts of the body. Maybe a little top hat. Oh, yes. Here's my mouth, my carrot nose, some stick hands, and maybe some buttons. All right. So I've drawn my snowman, as you can see. All right, and in this bag, I'm going to pour some vinegar. Okay. So in my bag, I'm gonna very carefully pour some vinegar. All right. I don't know, maybe like a third of a cup. And then I have baking soda in this cute little clay cup but I don't want to mix it with the vinegar yet because I want to make sure my bag's closed. So I'm going to put the cup in my bag, sitting in the vinegar, but I'm not going to let it fall over quite yet, okay? So I'm going to put it somewhere where I don't mind if it gets messy because it is going to explode. It's the exploding snowman. All right, and when you're ready, double check that it is secure, maybe move back a little bit. Okay, Mason, let's be safe. And now you can dip your baking soda over and watch your exploding snow video. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And the reason that happens is because when the baking soda mixes with the vinegar, it's a chemical reaction and it causes gas to form and the gas has nowhere to go. So it the Ziploc bag and you're left with a melted snowman. All right, Eagles, thank you for watching my science experiment. I hope you try that at home. Um, and I hope you had a wonderful Easter with your family. We can't wait to see you keep up your work. Bye.